welcome back to vlogmas day 8 I cannot believe I have survived until now but uh, yeah don't pay attention to my crazy looks again for me vlogmas is showing my everyday life I've been so stressed out lately not only because of vlogmas but you know work and everything else and my under eye bags have been just growing and growing and growing so I'm taking active remedy so here I am filming a video with them but uh, as you can see from the title today I'm going to cook with you it's a selanka soup, it's a Russian soup and uh, I grew up a lot with it and then for some reason in my family everyone started to call it a hangover soup or a krapula soup krapula is uh, hangover in Finnish. So it sticks with it, so now it's a hangover soup and none of us is hangover. I don't drink, Sama cannot drink because of the food, but uh, here we are doing a hangover soup and I'm gonna show you my easy recipe. And actually I've been also curious why this soup is called that way, so I'm just calling my dad. Let's see if he's gonna pick up and if he can give us an explanation on why it is called like that. Mariens. Mariens. I am filming a video. And I have an important question for you. Why is the krapula soup called a krapula soup? Because it's not the real name, it's a, it's a selanka. No, it's not selanka, it's with, with, with uh, cucumber, salty cucumbers and you have to ask mom chick about it. But why is it called a hangover soup? I don't know, maybe it's good if you have krapula. I have no idea, you have to ask her. Okay, then I will ask her. Clearly my dad doesn't know it, although I'm pretty sure he's the one who named it. But let's call my mom and see if my mom has a better explanation. Why is Selanka called Krapula soup in our family? <laughs> I don't know, you have to ask your father. He, was he said to ask you! <laughs> <laughs> but he said so. <laughs> he said you said so. <laughs> I don't know, I think that uh, because there are uh, Cucumbers, it's a little bit sour, that's why. Interesting. Well, I'm going to try to cook it. Now we know the story of the soup and uh, let's get to cooking. It's a relatively quick recipe and it should be easy. I only cook easy recipes, I'm not a real chef, so let's go and get cooking. Here is the soup, it has been boiling for a while and again you kind of have to taste throughout your cooking process and see if you need more salt, if you need more pepper. Cooking is a thing of feeling. So yeah, we're just gonna let it cook for a little bit longer and then we're gonna have dinner and let's see, I'm gonna give it to Xava, let's see what his first impressions are. So and it is now dinner time and uh, to complement the soup we also are of course going to do garlic bread. It's just a must with this, any kind of soup in my opinion. We are going to the cinema later so I hope no one's gonna sit too close to us. But at the end of the day it's their problem because we are gonna eat all of that garlic, you know? Yep, for sure. <laughs> salt Express is coming. We have this salt from Spain which we always bring with when we come. Best salt in the world for everything, steak. Literally, it's amazing. <laughs> Fancy way. So, the soup looks good. I'll try. Can't believe that I did it. I can't believe it. Dun, dun, dun. I hope it's good. I didn't try it yet. Mm. Some salt or whatever might be missing. Nope. Mm, it's perfect. <laughs> 
So yeah, now we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely try this recipe out. You saw it is really easy and quite quick to do. And it's perfect for winter, in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.